Assalamu alaikum, my name is Somba Ali Raza and welcome to my YouTube channel Marketing Chamber. Today I am going to discuss very important uh, point and very important article uh, for even marketers and that is back popular. Okay, so uh, let's start. So what is the definition? The back popular feature allows you to cue people for flow actions retroactively. It means that uh, when you back populate a flow, you uh, accumulate the peoples that are uh, uh, in the past of your flows. That like uh, if someone has done a uh, place order uh, in uh, past uh, 10 days, but you made uh, the flow today, so then uh, it will start working from today. So it will not include that person uh, in this flow. So when you back populate, so then it will uh, include that person, but it depends upon that uh, that person should fall between the flow time span. Okay, so I will discuss it uh, in uh, further uh, uh, next part. Okay, so uh, this is useful when you create a new flow as back populating allows you to populate context into your flow that would have been queued in real time. So here it is also discussing the same thing that I discussed with you that uh, the black populating of flow will include uh, their subscribers who have fulfilled the criteria of your flow and also fall between the time span of your flow. Like if your flow uh, has three emails and first email sent after 30 days and second after 10 days and third email after 10 days. So how much time span of the flow is? 30 plus 10 plus 10 so if someone has uh, qualified for your this flow within uh, 50 days then it will back populate and then it will include those subscribers in your flow so if you don't populate back populate so then it will not include those uh, uh, your customers in this flow hope you understand my point so a real time had the flow existed earlier so uh, I have, uh, I hope that I have discussed with you the definition uh, very clearly. So even if you have any confusion, any, uh, any uh, thing that you don't clear, so you can comment. Uh, I will uh, uh, respond to your question and your query. Okay. So uh, let's move on. So what is the next? So uh, I will show you the example. What is uh, the back populating? So uh, here you can see. Uh, I will explain the same definition uh, with this example. Like here, uh, this is uh, the uh, back populating flow. Uh, let's suppose that uh, we back populating uh, this flow. So uh, then what it will do? So the time span of this flow is five days and five days, 10 days. So if I back populate, so then it will include those subscribers that have joined the VIP customers list in within 10 days. So if someone has done uh, in past 15 days or 20 days, so then it will not include those subscribers in this flow. So remember, the subscribers should qualify your flow that you want to back populate within your time span. So if he or she uh, will be beyond your time span of your flow, then it will not be included or queued for your flow if you even back populate. Okay, so hope you understand. So uh, what is the next? So let's what flows cannot be back populated. So here uh, back uh, is uh, misspelled. Uh, so uh, what flows cannot be back populated and why? So there are two flows that you cannot back populated. And first one is uh, uh, what? Uh, first one is the budget flow, okay? And the next one is uh, price drop flow. Okay, so these flows cannot be back populated. So what is the reason? Because if someone has passed the birthday date, so how you can uh, include their subscribers in the flow? So suppose that two days, uh, 20, uh, 29, 11, 21. So if uh, someone's birthday was on 25, 11, 21, so how we can uh, include their subscribers and how we can send the email of birthday? like your birthday is on uh, 29 11 21 okay so does this make sense so first is the case we cannot uh, back populate bird birthday flow okay so uh, let me show you the birthday flow example 
so okay i will uh, i will show you uh, yes here you can see the birthday flow okay so if someone uh, birthday have passed so we cannot send uh, the uh, we cannot turn on the back populate okay so what is the next is the price drop flow so like if uh, if price of any product have uh, go down in the past uh, uh, 10 days let's suppose and then after uh, price drop it again rises to the peak so if you uh, back populate the flow so it does not make sense that uh, your product price has gone to a uh, high stone high tone so and you are sending the price drop flow okay so these are two flows that you cannot uh, back populate okay so this is the price drop flow so hope you are understand uh, up to uh, till this uh, slide up to the, uh, up to till this point okay so even if you have any query uh, you can uh, share with me and i will respond to your question so what is the next is uh, what flows cannot be back populated by and i have discussed and what is how many ways for flows so we know that the flows are triggered with the metric and with the list uh, also so in this uh, video i will discuss the metric triggered flows okay and then the next part in the second part i will discuss uh, how you can back populate list triggered flows and remember it will back populate it will uh, queue those persons who will fall within the time span otherwise it will not queue those person or those customers okay so uh, i have discussed uh, all these things so now I will uh, go to my uh, store and I will show you how and from where you can back populate and what results you will uh, see. Okay. So here you can see that uh, I made this flow uh, where it is yes product review or cross sell flow. Okay. So I will uh, back populate uh, this and uh, will show you that what is the difference uh, created after back populating. So suppose that you have created the flow. And then you have to go here, manage flow. And here you can see the option back populate flow response. So uh, I will click on uh, first, let me uh, make it uh, live. Okay, so then I will click on back populate. So then again, I will click on back populate flow. So your flow has begun back populating. Okay, so I will click on show analytic. So here you can see uh, waiting review uh, zero zero. So I will uh, refresh it okay so then uh, we will see that either any change uh, exists here or not so uh, just take that so yes here you can see the waiting 31 percent so these 31 are those who have qualified my uh, this flow and fall within 30 days this is the time span because this is only include one email okay so this was the part one and hope you understand i hope you will like it and uh, if you find some good thing from this video and uh, you don't have subscribed my channel up to now so kindly do subscribe stay tuned and stay happy thank you